This is Brad Goodwood with FX Market Insight for Thursday, the 25th of March. Right now, as we go into the Asian session, just coming out of uh, Wednesday in the US, the uh, dollar inches higher uh, after Yellen Powell signal US strength, economic strength. Now, what they've done is they've squeezed the, um, the increasing yields in the US treasuries and slowed that down. And we're starting to get back to a situation where the yields aren't really driving the dollar anymore. And that's, that's, a, that's a better place to be when uh, the overall macros of the US economy are driving things. Now, just have a look here. I've shrunk up the range here in the hourly charts on the dollar index. You can see this recent rally. It's gone through a couple of uh, resistance lines. And we've got one coming up and there's sort of blue skies above that, right? So we could see the dollar uh, have a real good, um, a really good, uh, move here if it does break above that sort of 92, sort of 65, 70, right? The uh, US equity markets, okay, getting belted. The uh, the dollar block sort of still drifting down. The US dollar slowly rallying. If anything, if you have a look at the charts here, this is a, a pretty key day, right? Look at the dollar index and actually a lot of these pairs. This is where when you see a big move, right? And not exactly a massive move in the dollar index, but say down in the Euro, Sterling, uh, Aussie and Kiwi, uh, pretty much the same here in dollar cat as well. What you usually see is you get the initial move, then you get the consolidation, right? This is where if this wasn't a trending opportunity, the currency would slowly just gravitate back to, into the range and move back up. Now, what we've had is we've had a good consolidation day where the market has sort of thrashed about it has basically to me, it tells me these markets are ready to go a bit further. Um, the market is very comfortable with what the dollar is doing. This current move in the dollar, the strength it has been sort of tested, it's consolidated, and now it looks like it's ready to go again. What we need is, and this is where you would come back to really solid economic, uh, or sorry, normal market conditions, is you get, uh, you overlay what's happening at the moment with some solid. Um, US numbers. I mean, we've got some GDP numbers coming out uh, today in that uh, US session and some PCE price numbers, et cetera, some jobless claims may give it a drive. The macro numbers here, you get strength in these, it should give the dollar a, a clearer push to the top side and really confirm the dollar uptrend. I mean, you know, I've spoken to a lot of guys who have missed this current move. And uh, the main thing is, you know, a lack of trust in the market because we've seen so many of these false starts and that's fair enough. But what you're going to do is if, if, you do, if you're not feeling confident, go in with a smaller trade size and an overall smaller trade. That gets you into the trade and you can make some cash and build your confidence around that. So still at this point, um, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a stretch, but, you know, looking to sell rallies on, on the dollar block. Uh, most of these pairs have gone a fair way. If anything, you've got some new, um, well, you've got the new resistance trend lines forming on the, the Kiwi, the same with the Aussie, and actually most of these pairs, right? So, um, well, I'll tell you one of the tricky ones, once again, is dollar cad oil back above up to almost 61 bucks. That's creating a bit of uh, confusion with, with dollar cad. Like dollar yen is now trading sideways. I've really shrunk up the time frame here. Look at this over sort of February, March, and you can just see it's just banging away sideways without too much fanfare. And the dollar index and dollar Swiss uh, pretty much a mirror image of each other. And if you flipped over Euro, well, you'd have the same sort of picture. So that's it. For, so we've got clear structure. We've got clear direction, okay, in the major pairs. Um, you, you are still sort of keeping an eye on these uh, treasury markets. The good thing is the they aren't necessarily – like they're not dramatically falling and correcting on, on Yellen and uh, Powell. They don't, and they don't want that to happen. They don't want an immediate correction. They don't want the treasuries to fall over. They just want to slow down the move. And I think they've done a good job in doing it. If you look at the US 10-year treasury yields, okay, this is what they're going to like to see. You can chart the yields on your charts. Um, see how it's broken down through uh, support here. It's come back and tested resistance. What the Fed would like to do is see this chart drag out sideways like dollar yen. Okay, it's, it's had a decent move. They just need it to slow down, uh, consolidate probably around 1.6% would be nice. And then they would be happy because then it won't put too much pressure on the equity markets. They're, they're getting flogged at the moment. 
Um, and we might see, um, actually, while well, I'm on that page, just, to, just have a look at the equities. The, oh, the Dow Jones, these things are still up on the, on the year. They're just getting uh, hammered a bit in the short term. So I don't think it's panic st stations just yet. Uh, you still got some levels here. If anything, the Dow just sort of banging away sideways. That's what they're trying to do is take the pressure, I think, off the US Treasury yields to take the pressure off the equity markets. Uh, the NASDAQ is probably the key one to be looking at because that's that's the pair, that's the uh, indice that has appreciated the most over the pandemic. Uh, you can see the wild price action here. Um, it's going to get really wild if it breaks down through sort of 12,500. Okay, so that's something to keep an eye on as you go forward as well. All right, guys, that's uh, pretty much a wrap for me. There's just having a look at the FX market insights, see where all the um, various components are. Um, Majors, well, that's just been reset. Safe havens, bit of a mixed bag there. Risk on, risk off. Okay, bit of a clear, well, it's actually just been corrected. So it would be look like a, a risk off situation and the commodities aren't uh, cruising around too well either. So, you know, from here, just keep an eye on the economic data, keep an eye on the treasuries, equity markets, uh, giving us a bit of a lead into a risk on risk off sentiment. The US dollar is still a bit of a safe haven at the moment. Uh, I'd be watching this level on the dollar um, index around 92.65.70. And, and obviously keep an eye on those bond prices, higher bond prices, lower yields and vice versa. That's how the dollar works. All right, guys, have a good trade day. All the very best. Cheerio.